What's up Scrollgers, it's Nerp here, and today we are going to do our final judgment before Echoes. We're going to uh, play judgment with, um, we're going to play this type of judgment uh, without uh, everything only costing wild um, for the last time. So I guess if you're not interested then don't watch this, but I just want to get one kick out of this last kind of judgment because we might not play it ever again. Uh, so yeah, we won't have to use the strategy of like strategy is gonna be so much different. If you if you didn't know, echoes, uh, huge judgment change. You could basically forget about resource, which resource it is, energy, growth, decay, or order, because you can sack for wild and judgment freely. So that's just it's really just like you choose the best card <laughs> on every row, more like instead of like choosing which faction. But right now we're still choosing which faction. And I see a burn here, and it's really good, but there's no energy burn. And I played with the replenish. Is it loud? I think this is loud. It's lower to like... Alright. Um... Let's start with a Royal Spearman. Ah, uh, I can't fall is good. Go with the burn. A... Plating, Kinfolk Kiarl. Uh, our heart, ironclad reaver, replicaton. Right, it's closer between growth and growth and uh, energy right now. Is it? I could take gusty here, then I have a gusty and a yarrow. But then I think in energy I'm a little over. I have a freak down here and an iron whip. So should I just take the ember bonds and just stick to energy? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll the dice and try to go uh, more energy. So far, it's paid off because there's not really any good growth stuff around here. Uh, I guess electrify is either removal, not electrify, magma pack, uh, sea tracker, or useless contraption. Um, siege cracker. I really should say the creature, right? Yeah, I'll take the creature. Spark is nice, so is Grip Black Outcast. I'm not sure what I'll take there. Probably the Spark. Judgment is just nice and valuable. My, judge, I, my words are all mixed up. Removal is nice and valuable in Judgment. Um, I don't know. Okay, just for fun. Okay, another Siege Cracker. Spark. And we kind of ran out of the energy stuff here. You could always splash a Ragged Wool. You could always splash Purification. You could always, all right, I think order may have been another solid option. There's a K, we took that, and there was some other things we could have taken early. We got a real Spearman. So order is our other option, and we could get some order scrolls. Maybe the cantrips are gonna be nice. Now do I wanna take Catapult Goo, even those Gromishers here? Yeah, I'll take the Catapult with Goo. Still, like, it's just a more expensive useless contraption. Okay, now I got the uh, one more row and then I have my energy stuff again. Uh, I don't know, Curse Presence could be a slash. Okay, so, Grave Like Outcast, fine. Snorkel, fine. They're just fine melee creatures. Snorkel Hunter, ooh, Automata Forge is very good. This gives me order, but I'll take the Forge definitely. Uh, this is gives Replenish, so it might be okay. This gives a growth. There's a Spark here or a Snorkel Omelet. Snorkel Omelet could be effective uh, because I do have a couple of grave locks right I have the grave lock freak and do I have two outcasts I think I should still just take the spark though just yeah I'm gonna take the spark uh, definitely machinated stone enigma or spark this would be my third spark which is nice do I just want to mix it up with one stone enigma just to get rid of that lingering spell I don't know lingering spells aren't that that uh Prevalent in judgment. I think I'd rather just take the spark. But now I'll take the other uh, stun nigga because uh, that could help me get the higher resources if I need it. Nice to have the versatility. Sea tracker. I don't know. Scav construct. Iron whip. Good. Okay, now do we take. Ooh, nice stuff now. Bombard or scatter gunner? Really? We don't have ranged creatures, right? Our only ranged creatures are Gun Automatons from Automata Forge. 
and we have one replica time. Yeah, Bombard's not really gonna do as much good. I'd rather just take the other another creature. In judgment, it's pretty good, just have a lot of creatures. So scatter gunner, another Revelicon. Now we have some range creatures. Another stone necklace, and I wish I kinda took the other spark, but whatever. We didn't know that at the time. Let's take the Echomaton, that can get us more resources. Plating. We have replenish, so we can splash like two cost things like this for transposition and the reversal, but I think Stone Egg is still here. Now we got yeah, this uh, this is I definitely made the right decision going to energy. Tempest Reaver, Fulmination, Kano, and Mount Dispersal, all okay. I think I should just take the route dispersal though. We have a lot of creatures, a lot of three drops. And yeah, we don't have that many creatures. But the VD though. VD. Yeah, I'll take the Mount Dispersal. No, I don't know. Trisman, Cannonetta, Inferno Blast, some removal. Another Freak, definitely good. More Freaks can help each other. Uh, Transposition, Freak, uh, I don't know, Fjords. Okay, so are we gonna go Mono? Yes, we are going Mono. Do I want the 15th creature or a 4 drop? Maybe a 4-drop, we have a lot of 3-drops in this deck. Yeah, we have a lot of 3-drops. Let's just go with a 4-drop clock library, and then whatever. Alright, so we can go to Mono Energy here. So yeah, new Judgment, uh, starting June 9th, uh, you won't have to, you could just pick, like, any scrolls. And that was the rubbing in my hand. Okay. So we have to take out one scroll, and which is the weakest scroll here? Catapult of Doom, hands down. Okay, so interesting curve, we have a lot of three drops. But it's not too bad of a curve. So let's call this QWERTY, because naming your judgment deck does not really matter. And let's head in, let's hopefully we find a match. Uh, I'm afraid that we won't find a match for a while, so I'll be back. Boy, that took a long time. Uh, I don't know how long that was. Probably like maybe 15 minutes. I don't know. SRT. Good luck. Have fun. Uh, I go second, unfortunately. Um, he's growth. I will keep this starting hand because I don't have... Um, yeah, I don't have a 2-drop in the deck, I don't think. So there's not really a point in me, uh... Mulliganing. But, uh, Spark can help, so... Hopefully he just plays something I could Spark. Or... Lingering Spell soon. Let's see, he goes to 2, and... Mm, are we gonna see something? Yeah, that will be Spark. I don't need to spark it, but not like I can do anything else this turn. I'll get rid of the Siege Cracker. So next turn I will play a Scatter Gunner, followed by an Echo Maton, and or Stone Enigma. And the Mouth Dispersal, I'll try to keep, in case he has like a strong growth drop. Okay, she's pretty good, Build the Verdant. Iron Whip. I will... Get rid of the Vile Dispersal right now and keep that Iron Whip. Just in case she tries to chase me and uh, I have to get rid of her with an Iron Whip. If, it, if she is protected and I can't get rid of her with an Iron Whip, I'll have to protect myself with an Echo Bazon, which might be able to withstand a hit from Vilda, barring a uh, enchantment on her or something else, of course. Vilda, 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 the Verdant. Okay, so stays in the middle, and he did have something that would be a good uh, spark target. Um, I will get rid of the plating. I'll just play the Aquamaton. Maybe I should have kept the plating. Not too bad. I 
All right. Let's randomly play like a lingering spell. <laughs> All right, no. But didn't play anything else, so I have a chance to take control. Maybe get rid of the zone I'm got. I don't think a lingering spell's on the way. I'll just play a uh, Automata Forge down here. Now, awesome creatures over time. And next turn, I can go for five resources, play a Snargle Hunter, and Magma Pack on one of his creatures as pseudo removal. I think that's a good idea. Almost wanted to play a spell so my Ekmaton can uh, have some more attack. Okay. Bear Paw. Mm, not gonna have enough attack to destroy that. I think I'm gonna Magma Pack that Kinfolk Brave. I mean, I'm gonna take 8 Edel damage for it, but I think it's worth it. So let's go to 5. Let's play you, and let's give you a magma pack. So, it gives him more attack this coming turn, but I think it's okay. Now also he doesn't have a kinfolk veteran to take out that uh, that guy on top or the forge. If he does, he has a very good dungeon deck. A couple of ragged wolves, a kinfolk brave, enchantments, build a... I think my dungeon deck is pretty good. Anytime you have a mono deck with enough creatures, and not a super terrible curve, you're gonna be able to most likely win five matches, I think. That's a good creature. Okay, so he does spread out the idle damage a little bit. Goodbye, Kinfolk Brave. And hello, Clock Library. Ooh, actually Ironclad Reaver is going to be our pick. Yeah, so we ended up we end up wasting the one the one attack from Echo Baton, but that's alright. And I'm going to be aggressive here. I don't want that build that and that, that uh, great wolf uh, ro roaming the board. Let's see. See, now I wish I had the balance dispersal. But I wasn't going to hold on to it this long. Then it would have uh, prohibited me from having like a decent start on creatures. I want another spark. Actually, no. This She's not... I can't spark her, she has a ward. Also, she has more health. He does have a Kinfolk Veteran. Ouch, I don't even get the energy from him. At least this thing gets to survive, and I can't burn you, but I can burn that. Do I burn that when it's not a huge threat right now? I think I sacrifice her scrolls first. Uh, okay, yeah, burn you. Because next one, I'm gonna wanna play the Gravelock Freak. So I will move up. Just so, if he wants to kill him, he's gonna move into a line where my Iron Cloud River can come down and deal damage. At least I got some kind of value from this. Stone Pack is in order. Maybe it's just a wall protection for him though, we don't know. I think I'll still come down and destroy it. Now a spark would be nice. So I can come down and destroy it. And destroy maybe the Vilta, which is going to come up. Or the Great Wolf. I'll deal damage to it. Would be the Vilta. Wildland. There's a scary one countdown creature. Okay. So now I'm going to. Yeah, I'll go to six. I will go to. Or do I just play the. Maybe I don't go to 6, so I play the Canada and I have a Mash and did waiting. Now I'll go to 6. I'll get rid of the Replicates on. Come down. Destroy you. And I'll actually put the Gravelock Freak in front. Okay, I have nice big creatures on the board so far. We're pretty much identical in resources and scrolls and pretty close on board control as well so definitely a pretty even start to this game i think we both have pretty good decks i don't know his record right now he is likely zero zero like me or maybe not because it took so long to find a match by the way i'm only going to do one match in this video some judging videos i uh 
speed it up and show all the matches, but I really um, don't think <laughs> that's going to be good if I do that because I'll have to wait so long to find matches. I'll probably just delete this deck after this match. Just using it for the video. Does he have enough to destroy that Great Block Freak? Ooh, he had a main block. Oh boy. This is kind of bad. And an earth. Okay. Spark, please. Ooh, uh. Plating is good. Let's get rid of the clock library. We don't really have time to wait around for that. Another freak. Um. I think we have to get down this cannonetta because. I don't know. I think we need it soon. But I can't really. I think I just have to get the health down because I have to be able to play again that and another creature in a turn. Or actually I could have pumped this. Yeah, I probably should have just pumped that so I can get a creature out of it. My mistake. For some reason I thought that was destroyed. I don't know why. Yeah, why wasn't it destroyed? This is two attack, that is two attack, and didn't have three health. It's not like this had potion or resistance or anything. Am I just seeing me seeing things? Maybe I'm just seeing things. Man, we need that bounce dispersal. Hopefully it comes right in the next deck cycle. Plating would go a long way. Frostbeard. that in front. Okay, let's see. Iron Whip. See, it was good that he moves in Y. I would have been able to Iron Whip and kill stuff. And then I could still Iron Whip. Let's, uh, ooh, I have 10. Because you dealt damage. I have 10 resources. I'm going to sacrifice the Snargle for scrolls. Inferno Blast. Inferno Blast, Iron Whip. Alright. There's probably Inferno Blast here. Yeah. Inferno Blast, um, Iron Whip. If I had a spark this turn, I'd be able to destroy the Great Wolf because it would remove the Inferno Blast. And is it possible to do some good stuff here? Let's go with a plating. Let's just play a cannon up top. So definitely a pretty big turnaround turn for me this turn. Okay, that that inferno blast and iron whip definitely really good. Yeah, that 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 single turn may have turned around the whole game. That was, uh, the plus four energy it was really nice. I got the Snorkel Hunter to, dis to destroy a Ragged Wolf, which uh, let me have a lots of extra energy. Stifled Advance. I uh, was going to slow that guy down quite a bit. So I won't get the extra energy for a while if I get it again even. Probably just using this fodder now. Now that Wildling is a little dangerous. Does it, uh... Okay, so it has magic resistance too, so it's not like I could burn it. Okay. Let's get rid of the Siege Cracker. Alright, now we have some kind of removal stuff. I think I want three sparks in the next deck cycle, so I want to use the spark right now. Oh yes, that's not, I'm definitely going to use the spark, because I can spark this and destroy you. Or I could spark you and destroy you, or I could mash Nate. I think I'd have to, I have to get rid of you right now, though. So let's move down. Let's move down. Then we will put down a Grey Block Outcast. So if the Grey Block Outcast is destroyed, you get to attack again. And 
I'll move down with you. And then I'll spark you. So very, very big, killing that wildly. So back to back, very strong turns for us. Sacrifices for scrolls. I can use that Ember Bonds to uh, destroy that Mangy Wolf before it attacks. Sell that Imaginated, maybe for the Cannonetta. So he kind of runs away. And a double rocket. Okay, the top rocket wolf. That was really why did he do that? The top rocket wolf was pretty bad for him. Not only does not only do I get to get kill it for free, because I already have a creature attacking up there. Sorry about these those notifications. But also, it makes my grave lock free count down to zero. So Let's see. What do I sacrifice? Ember Bond just doesn't do a whole lot here. Because I'm going to destroy these guys anyways with this guy then. So... I, mean, I could run away. And uh, no spark, but plating is also good again. Plating is very nice. I will put the freak in front. Uh, yeah, the freak can go in front. I don't want to lose this ironclad reaver. Now I will put the plating down. And hopefully he does not draw a ragged wolf. He should be getting a deck cycle. And then I'll just play a snarl in front. At least he was wise to get away of the Ken Notice Path, because I've been holding on to that Machinator for quite a long time. I just realized my idols are a little open. It's possible he could win the game here if he has like a Ragged Wolf. A Ragged Wolf Earthen Mirth is game over. But we we don't doubt, we doubt he has an Earthen Mirth. It's a common card though. Untainted. Welp. Yeah, we're looking pretty good in this game. I can destroy that with the Machinator this turn. And you're getting a kill then, uh, which lets me, which lets me have ten energy next turn. And I'm attacking the whole board. I'm fighting the whole board. It's basically game over. But now you have eight, you have eight. It's you have eight countdown. You imagined it. Used to increase base countdown by one. Now it doubles base countdown. So you had already a uh, base countdown of four. Because of the Staffler Advance and the game. Ranger's Bane is his kind of removal. That'll take a while to do much there. Uh, let's get rid of the Stone Enigma for scrolls. Now we get the Balance Star, so we'll just play. Play the Replicaton. I will. I think I want to take out that. I'm not really worried about him coming back. I just want to finish this game. Play Seize Cracker. So I'll speed this thing up. And sure, I'll pump. Actually, I won't pump. He's going to just. And then I'll leave the replica time. It's not really worth pumping. Okay. So two idols down, or one idol down, and two at three health. Only have one creature coming off Kanto. It actually opens like a veteran, so that was kind of stupid of me. Okay, let's get rid of the Maga Pack. I actually think Maga Pack destroys the Naga. So he's running. He doesn't see a way back into it, which uh, is not surprising. It's a Judgment deck, so it probably doesn't have all the answers. And uh, so I guess that was fun. I don't know. I'll give it a four stars. So that's that. I think that's gonna be the last judgment match I uh, play before judgment has its huge overhaul. Unless I find a match right when I click this. Up, oh, I found a match. I'm gonna play this, but I think that's gonna be the end of this video. So like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content like this. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. Get hype for echoes, and I'll see you all next time. Keep on scrolling, scrollers.